guys in this video we are dealing with question tags what are they actually well uh, question tags are uh, the short questions uh, that we put on the end of sentences particularly in spoken English there are lots of different question tags but the rules are not difficult to learn first of all we will talk about positive and negative question tags now, if the main part of the sentence is positive, the question tags is negative. For example, he's a doctor, isn't he? You work in a bank, don't you? And vice versa, if the main part of the sentence is negative, the question tag is positive. For example, you haven't met him, have you? She isn't coming, is she? In the second part, we're going to see how to use uh, question tags with auxiliary verbs. The question tag uses uh, the verb as the main part of the sentence. If this is an auxiliary verb, have or be, then the question tag is made with the auxiliary verb. For example, they've gone away for a few days, haven't they? They weren't here, were they? He had met him before. Hadn't he? This isn't working, is it? And now, in the third part, we have in question tags without auxiliary verbs. And in this case, if the main part of the sentence doesn't have an auxiliary verb, the question tag uses an appropriate form of do. For example, I said that, didn't I? You don't recognize me, do you? She eats meat, doesn't she? In the fourth part, we're going to see how to use question tags with motor verbs. If there is a motor verb in the main part of a sentence, the question tag uses the same motor verb. For example, they couldn't hear me, could they? You won't tell anyone, will you? And now, a very special case with I am. Be careful with question tags with sentences that start with I am. The question tag for I am is aren't I. For example, I'm the fastest, aren't I? Now, the last part of our lesson is about intonation. Question tags can either be real questions where you want to know the answers or simply asking for agreement when we already know the answer. If the question tag is a real question, we use rising intonation. Our tone of voice rises. If we already know the answer, we use falling intonation. Our tone of voice falls. So thank you for watching guys and catch you up in the next video. Bye bye.